Hello, welcome, and welcome back to episode 16 of Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown with me, Kaz. As we continue onward in our quest. As far as the chaos we find ourselves in these days, it's difficult to say which side pulled the trigger first. Arugia deployed an automatic intercept system with drones. Osea implemented long-range attacks to bypass them. So Arugia decided to sabotage Osea's communications and navigation technology. Arugia couldn't launch a satellite themselves, but they were still able to hack the software of the Osean transmission and navigation systems. Ugh. Before Osea even noticed, half of their satellites were hijacked. That's when things got ugly. In an attempt to knock out each other's capabilities, both forces launched fighters loaded with anti-satellite missiles at the same time. Only military satellites were targeted. However, their destruction created a debris field in orbit which wiped out scores of other satellites, both private and government owned. Kessler syndrome. What kept the world relatively sane up to that point had been free-flowing data and information. But now, those were gone. All that remained was chaos. That's why NASA has to track all kinds of space junk, especially government when some government tests out an anti-satellite missile on, on one of the their own old satellites. Ceased. Forces all that. on both sides of the conflict now found themselves unable to communicate with their superiors. Many of the smaller countries annexed by Arugia and yearning for their independence seized the opportunity and started their own uprisings. As for why some of Osea's military decided to break off from the main force and continue on their own, I have no idea. Perhaps there was some sort of dispute over the chain of command. The continent that had once seen wars that were only fought between Osea and Rugia was now full of numerous conflicts between rival leaders vying for power. Yeesh. <clears throat> Insurgencies were everywhere. I even heard a rumor that a group of Osean convicts had rebelled. Rumors. It never ceased to amaze me that even at a crazy time like this, something as trivial as a rumor could find its way here. Communications from corporate were cut off. Apparently, the entire computer network was down. It was a wise decision to make our drones autonomous with AI instead of being radio controlled. Wise and forward thinking. Mm. Even with their GPS offline, they can still use their sensors to navigate as long as they're working properly. I'm sure the drones are still working perfectly, following their mission orders to the letter. I wish I could upload Mihai's new data to them, but without a connection, I can't upload the software to the active drones. The new ones we're making, though, there should still be enough time to upgrade those before they're activated. I'll be taking the data I've acquired away from the front lines now. Oh, and I'll be taking the girls too. I told my assistant Melissa it was time to get Mihai's granddaughters ready to leave here. She's not much older than the girls, but she has a way about her, and I'm sure she won't have any trouble with them. Leave it to the weird Belkin I saw scientist, man. Off in the distance. I imagine it was looking for a safer place. The plane had a rose emblem on it. Mission 16, Last Hope. Perusia's communication networks have been down since their satellites were destroyed. Unfortunately, we are experiencing trouble too. Hmm. All of Yuzia has been affected, and we don't know when things will be back up and running. We're not even sure if this is Arugia's doing. Still, we will follow the strategy that was originally planned, and move on to the next operation after liberating Farbanti. Let's get to it. Since the war began, we've been receiving communications in secret from an officer in the Arugian army. With the capital under our control, Arugia's radical element is losing support quickly, affecting the balance of power. Hmm. HQ is thinking of using the military officer as a way to gain leverage to settle peace negotiations. 
The officer is currently hiding in the outskirts of Anchorhead Bay, having joined up with support dispatch from the Ocean Army. Huh. The plan is that they'll take a standard vehicle to a rendezvous point at a harbor in the east part of the city, where a helicopter will be waiting. I would like the new Strider Squadron to provide escort for the officer. Cyclops will remain at the base on standby to serve as defense. With the communication network currently down in the capital, I very much doubt Arusia will be able to mount a regimented counterattack. However, it is likely that Arusia's intelligence department and the remaining forces who are aware of the officer's movements will interfere. Keep a close eye on the officer and make sure he stays safe. Okay, Our so it's an escort Farbaki mission. Has given us a golden opportunity to finally end this Probably war. a lot of ground targets. <clears throat> Take note that our satellite-based IFF has become unreliable following the recent communications failure. As such, target ID will be done by processing the images from the infrared cameras on your aircraft. Objects will initially appear as unknown on your HUDs, but will be ID'd once you close in on them for a set period of time. Hmm. Okay. So there's no sense in taking long-range missiles, because the chances of us being able to wipe out hostile targets is fairly slim. And, considering the situation, we're going to need precision, because if we carpet bomb an area with weapons... Well... Yeah. Which means there's no reason we should be using the Nosferatu. It's not a bad aircraft, but it's not going to be perfect for this situation. Hmm, rocket, ship missiles, AIMs, what about any of these? Uh, I think I might take the XFA-27, take the IEWS, that way we can use our own missiles. And let's just check the parts to make sure... Right, we boosted our missiles as best as we can. That'll have to do. All right, let's go. Strider Squadron, you're clear to taxi. Operation Gorgon over Anchorhead Bay. Ugh. Well, at least we know there won't be a whole bunch of uh, air, a whole bunch of fleets and and uh, aircraft and all kinds of other stuff the here. Unidentified Ocean craft. This is Captain Carl of the Ocean Army. Are you here for the escort? You're not the squadron I was expecting. Are you really friendlies? Over. This is Longcaster. Airborne warning and control system for the Ocean Long Range Strategic Strike Group. Captain Carl, they're on our side. And those two pilots we've heard about must be here too. Okay, I hope you're right. Longcaster, are all of these really unknowns? It's a state of civil war. The Erosian army is fighting itself. There's no guarantee the Oceans won't shoot us in this confusion. Really should have gotten something to get my brakes better. Process the unknowns caught in your cams to identify friend or foe. The process will be faster if you get a close-up, well-centered image. Meanwhile, just run if they shoot us, right? Affirmative. Always identify your target before you fire. Come on, there's one on the ground directly in front of me right there. But tonight has been a total shock. Ugh. Of course, Longcaster, you're munching right now after all this crazy stuff. Okay, so there are some enemy units down there for sure. The Anchorhead Bay area. Buildings will block your line of sight. Make sure you keep track of your objective. Right there. Squadron. Identify the unknowns along the route. 
everything I'm trying to do. Come on. You. Come on. Persia. All right. Which direction is the bar heading? That way. All right. Now that I've got his route. It's always the friggin' Belkins. Run 
Cleared it. Oh, we've got more. Of course we do. Yes, I am aware. Thank you. The VIP is taking fire. His vehicle stopped. Oh my god. Of course. It's alright, we got a checkpoint not too long ago, so it's not that bad. Oh, those assholes, they're talking about me. Uh, 
You mean both? What the hell is going on? Stay sharp. 
we go. No good. Precision munitions. There's our next well target. There's our target. Evade. Ha, <laughs> he tried. Nice kill. Good work. All hostile aircraft eliminated. The liaison is safe. Wait. Q99 should go down with one missile. Staying in his room, 
He's still alive, since we can hear him cry. All right, everybody. War is hell, and we'll be heading into more of it soon. But until then, I've been Kaz. See you in the next one, ladies and gents. And until then, fly safe.